it's your boy Drew up here back with another video and today I got a special video guys man today we're gonna be um we're gonna be talking about the newest Zenkai that's coming out uh, I believe it's gonna come out on Wednesday so um yeah they announced it um I was not expecting this guy to get a Zenkai um not going to lie to you this is someone that I'm just like I was just not thinking about like I think he's the oldest. Is he the newest Zenkai that we got out of all the Zenkais previously? Like, let me check. I'm checking Legends right now. I'm on my um, I'm on Legends phone right now. But if we check the Zenkai Awakening, because I'm, I'm recording off my computer. So if we go here, Zenkai Awakening, plaque, uh, applicable, I don't even know, applicable. The newest regular Zenkai unit is it was what's the name? It was Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. That was, that was the like newest uh, unit, like regular sparking units to get a Zenkai. So now that Fusions of Monster got a Zenkai, he is all the way up to the second anniversary. So any units from the second anniversary and and backwards are now able to get a Zenkai. So Green Super Saiyan 4 Goku to get one. We could see Future Trunks getting one. We could see Omega Shenron getting one. We could see BB, even though he doesn't really need it. The other ones, other units, need, other LFs need it. But yeah, let's check out Fusions of Monsters and Kai. So, along all uniques to both to boost his offense with increased key recovery. Okay, and then a chance to flick bleed on strike and blast horse hits. Is he the first one to? If, he probably not the first one to, in to inflict bleed on blast cards, but he's one of the few, if not, he might be the first one, if not one, like very, very few units that can inflict bleed with his blast cards. Usually he's always strikes, so he can also notify abnormal conditions and reduce enemy key recovery when entering battle. So if these are his new two unit uniques, um, it's kind of lackluster. I mean, but they kind of been piping down on the units on the, um, the two new unique abilities on units they used to make them really really good but now they're not really all that good but um let's just check his kit so i have him up right here we can check him out fuses of masu let's check him out 14 stars because i feel like a lot of people has them maxed out unless you're a new player but a mines is maxed out and this is his stats so he has 2.5 mil 253 blast attack 160 on both defense and then 233 strike attack so this is before zenkai this is really good this is a really good stats right here and let's just check out his kid bro because a lot of people don't really doesn't really uh know his kit like that but uh let's check his unique ability the turn of radiance fall face curry when he enters the battlefield for 50 time accounts he gets actually gets 40 percent blast damage which is really good 30 time counts and he gets permanent card draw speed cannot be canceled so it's similar to like LF Piccolo this is really like LF Piccolo's unique ability right and then 50 time counts he gets minus 5 to um arch cost so towards the end of the the match he's going to start doing like really good damage because he has increased card draw speed reduced card cost he's going to be able to chain a lot more cards together he does extra 30 percent blast damage against all characters except Zamasu and Goku Black cannot be canceled so notice how everything is cannot be canceled, which is really, really good. Fall face curve when enemy attack is over. So if he gets hit four times, he's gonna rack up all the way up to 80% damage inflicted. So if you if it's 15 time accounts and he gets hit four times, he's gonna have a total of 100, 120 damage inflicted, buff permanent, cannot be canceled. Then he's gonna have increased card draw speed and then reduced arch cost. This guy is gonna be very, very good. And then he gradually restores health each time, each time account for 30 time account. So he has slowly some healing because he is he does he was pretty much immortal before he realized that he uh, his his body couldn't um, contain all that 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 stuff because he fused with Goku Black. Then he reduces damage by 40 until combo ends. And then he also has a strike cover change that you can use it with a blue card. This guy's the two kits that he the two unique ability he has now is really really good. So. I can see why they didn't want to give him too much stuff because he has right here 120 percent cannot be canceled damage deflected buffs permanent card draw speed and then minus and then reduced card cost and then extra blast damage against certain units and then he also has reduced damage and he also has a strike cover change already in his kit main ability he gets the ult card he gets restores health by 20 and then key by 40 and then he reduces sustained damage cut by 100 percent so if you have reduced damage, uh, sustained damage on your unit, he nullifies it. He just takes that away. Um, it, it's not going to work. So, if you throw it on your defensive unit, he just takes, he re reduces. Like, there's no, they don't have no reduced damage against him. Um, okay, so strike, he has a slice, and then his blast. Every time he uses a blast, 
Um, he um, plus five to health restorates for 15 time accounts on pawn activation, which is really nuts. Then his special move does massive explode damage. So that's a really good multiplier. Massive explode damage afflicts enemy downgrade 20 to strike arts cost. Pretty annoying. Green card is arguably one of the most annoying green card is, is up there right um he reduces enemy key by 40 and it randomly draws randomly applies two of the following effects so he can either get 40 key 20 percent blast damage and uh nullifies actually downgrades for 20 time accounts so that green card is pretty annoying reducing key and then deals massive impact depending on the amount of enemy battle members members um that is left so if it's like if they have one person then it's he does more damage but if it's three battle members then he does less damage so yeah looking at this and then his his like maxed out he has 32 percent the future and god key blast stack and an eight and then an additional 18 percent to powerful opponent so a powerful opponent has been um getting a lot of love recently so now this last z boot is actually gonna play a huge effect and let's just check out his team so right here i have him on the god key team right um you can see here god key Kind of needed a little bit buff. Uh, they didn't really need another purple. I mean, Super Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta was really good. He he was solid, right? Um, but Fusion Zamasu, I think I, I think I think Fusion Zamasu might be the best purple Fusion. I'm mean, purple uh, God Key unit on on God Key, bro. I think I think he could probably overtake Gogeta. He like I said, permanent card draw speed, 120 damage inflicted, strike cover change. Now this Gogeta, this Vegeta, I mean, Vegeta Blue is really good as well. He has support. Um, uh, he can get his Vanish back, bro. Um, this guy is really good as well. So these two are going to be competing because they're both blast-based purple Gaiki units. Um, I mean, I know UI Goku is also one as well, but he's an LF unit and you need him at really high stars to, for him to be able to tank damage, right? Because if you have him at low stars and he hits, he gets hit, it's over. So at least Zamasu, he has a little bit more tankiness. Um, so these two are really going to be fighting if you have high stars on both of these guys. These two are going to be really competing to see who's the better who's the better Zenkai unit. And yeah, I mean, if you look at this Godki team, Blast-based Godki is looking really, really good. You have Evolution Vegeta, you have him, you have Super Saiyan Blue Goku Zenkai, you have God Topo, and then your red, you could just use Fusion Zamasu. This is, this is probably might be the the best god key blast based god key setup right here is these five right here and then you can put god key here you could maybe you could bring the bottles if you want to and then your your fifth your sixth option is is um decidable but these these five right here is going to be the best blast base for god key so i don't know or, or it could just be him he could still be better than than, than zamasu but i mean Zamas is getting more stats and then uh, additional unique abilities. He might be better than this Vegeta, in my opinion. But that's just that's just my um that's just my um my prediction, early prediction before we even get to see him. So PO, he can't be ran on PO. He's gonna have um some competition with Purple DKP because they're both Purple PO um, blast base. And the problem with him is he does God Key in Future, so he's not even gonna buff the team. The only time he's buffing them is that 18% damage, which is not really that good of a Z ability compared to Purple DKP. So it'll be interesting to see if he could be meshed on this team. I mean, you do have Kid Boo here. Man, I mean, he could probably work on this team, but, um, you know, you have Janembo, you have Perfect Cell, you have Rose, you have Purple DKP. So he's going to have a lot of competition on the powerful opponent tag. But I feel like he can fit, but he's just going to have a lot of comp here. So let's go to Future. Um, future Future Blast Base has not been really good. Um, future Strike Future is more of a Strike based team compared to a, a Blast based team. But he can run him with Goku Black, the green one, because he's a Blast base. Um, himself and then corrupt the Zamasu or Trunks and Mai and then your yellow you're gonna just have to rock this guy he's the best yellow like um, they don't have no other better yellow than him and then for blue you could rock future Trunks so blast base future is not that this is it's all right it's all right future Trunks Goku Black him then you have Super Saiyan Gohan I mean you have future LF Gohan then you have corrupt the Zamasu it's not a bad team. Um, I know he's strike based, but um, or you can rock trunks and mine one of these two. That's not a bad setup. It's not a bad setup for future. They can get. They can definitely get better. But um, that that right here, him, 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 and then these two. That's not a bad future setup. So, yeah, the next, the last team he can be ran on is 
the regen team itself like i said he's gonna have a lot of comp because he doesn't even buff regen on his z ability but you can't run him he's gonna be comp he's gonna be like i said his comp is gonna be purple uh, purple dkp because they're both blast based and then purple dkp does buff regen as well perfect cell is um he, he buffs regen zenkai Zenemba. He buffs region, um, but yeah, um, he, he could run him. I mean, you just have to try him out, but he doesn't buff the team, so that's going to hurt your, your Z ability on him. But just looking at the team, I feel like God Key's going to be his best team right now. PO, I mean, um, Future, I think Future, Future needs to get some more love, but I think God Key, that Blast Base God Key setup right here is going to be scary. These five right here is going to be really, really good. So, and in terms of him how many zenkai's buff he can get he can probably get himself he can get one from janemba he can get one from turles um let me see uh purple i think he can only get three i think he only get three zenkai buffs yeah turles himself and then um and then janemba so um yeah and that's pretty much it with this video i just want to just make a little recap on Fusion and Monster, see what team he's going to really fit well on, which team he can be ran on, and comment down below what you guys think. I think this guy's going to be one of the better Zenkai's we had in a, in a while. Um, I think the really the last good Zenkai you could say, like like really, really good, was the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta. You could say the DBS Gogeta as well is up there, but like in terms of them being S tier, I would say the Super Saiyan 4 Goku's, like just the regular sparking ones. Um, not the LFs, not yeah, not the LFs one, just the regular sparking ones. It was Super Saiyan 4 Goku Vegeta. I think that was that was the last one. This guy could, he could be high tier one, low S tier. Um, you know, like and then if if guy key gets more love, this guy's gonna this guy's value is only gonna go up. So, I think he's gonna be a high tier one. Maybe he can make a low S, but um, guy key just not the best team right now. But he could be high high tier one minimum. So comment down what you guys think. Um, I'm looking forward to see him and the fact that he's free. Um, I'm not going to do his instant showcase because I can get him for free. And I'm also saving CC for Black Friday. So I need to save as much CC as possible. I will be able to get him to Zenkai 6 and then do his showcase later. I might do it like a couple days late compared to the other YouTubers. But I definitely am excited to get him to Zenkai 7 for free and try him out on the guy key setup. That guy key setup right here. These five right here is going to be really, really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and my up, man. And I'm out.